Hello, everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Welcome to Live It Up, the show where we explore and discuss how to take your life to that next level and beyond. We cover health, wealth, relationships, and how to create a life that feels good. Because after all, that's ultimately what we all want. We want to feel good. I'm your host and coach, Fletcher Ellingson. Amy is out today, but wants to remind you to Take good care of yourself. Get outside if you can. Move your body. Fuel it with healthy foods. Remember, health is the first wealth. And today, instead of visiting with Amy, we're going to be visiting with Mr. Danny Zavala, one of the founders of Butte Brand, Butte Brand Clothing, a local enterprise right here in Wenatchee. We had Danny on the show, I think it's been about a couple of years ago. So we're going to catch up and find out what's been going on there and with his new venture as a broker in the local real estate market. But before we go any further, I want to remind you that if you have questions that you'd like us to answer on or off the air, you can email those directly to me at Fletcher at FletcherEllingson.com. Look, you don't need to suffer. You don't need to try to figure it out all on your own because there are answers and solutions and ways to get unstuck and move forward powerfully. I want to remind you that you can also visit me at my website. FletcherEllingson.com. I've got a number of free resources there to check out. Get a, a free copy of my ebook, take the happiness quiz, get a bird's eye view of kind of how your life is going, and I'll personally send you feedback on the results. You can also listen to my podcast there. It's a great way to stay in this personal development conversation. Um, before we get to that, uh, let's address a question from a listener. It says, Hello, Fletcher. I've been in the same position in my career for five years. At year three or four, I thought I would get a promotion. I thought I would be making more than just the cost of living increase. I thought I would have uh, multiple promotions and greater opportunities at this point. My performance is strong, I'm consistent and reliable. I don't get why I'm being passed over and in some cases not even considered for advancement. I've been a model team player, I'm trusting, I don't rock the boat and I've been more than patient, but now I'm frustrated and I don't know how to take this to my management team. What do I need to do to get noticed? Signed, VT. Uh, this, is, this is great. VT, first of all, thanks for reaching out. Reaching out for counsel, advice, help, that's a sign of strength. So that means you are strong. And your concern is valid and shared by a lot of people. I don't just mean in our careers. I mean, in our relationships, in our health, our finances. I want to ask you a question. Do you know what the role of an advocate is? The role of an advocate is to offer independent support to those who feel that they're not being heard and to ensure that they're being uh, taken seriously and that their rights are being respected. An advocate doesn't represent their own views, but amplifies that of a person they are supporting. And there's all sorts of advocates, like in the court system, in the school system, in the government. But I want to invite you to consider something. I want to invite you to consider that what might be missing in your life is self-advocacy. It may be time that you begin to advocate for yourself. So what would that look like? Well, it would mean sitting down with the decision makers to express yourself, to ensure that they are taking you seriously that they are respecting your rights. It would, it, would be look like, it would look like you valuing yourself enough that you ensure others see that value, not just hope they see it. It would look like having honest or frank conversations and, and making an ask, asking for the raise, asking for the promotion, asking to sit on that meeting, right? Be on that board, whatever it is you want you begin to make a clear case for yourself. Now, can this be uncomfortable? Heck yeah, especially if you're not practiced at making requests. But it could sound something like this. Hey, so-and-so, I have a concern that I'd like to discuss. I have aspirations for my career and I feel like I'm spinning my wheels. I feel like I'm ready for more responsibility, opportunity, compensation within this company. How can we make that happen? You see, VT, it's, it's time to own your own value. Have the conversations. Yes, they're gonna be uncomfortable at first, but it's practice. And pretty soon you'll get practice at having those conversations and you'll see 
like a snowball effect in your life, okay? You're gonna see a snowball effect of progress. It's time to consider what it means to advocate for yourself. It's time to get into action. And I know you can do this, and I believe in you. All right, we're gonna take a quick commercial break, but stick around and meet a real go-getter and a real doer, Danny Zavala. Hey everybody, welcome back to Live It Up. So glad you're here. And today we're talking with Mr. Danny Zavala. Nice to, nice to have you here. Fletcher, thanks for having me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, we've, known each other, we've known each other for a few years. I think the first uh, time we met each other, you were actually coaching me um, with That's some, right. some uh, not rehab, but just... Yeah, we were doing some strength conditioning strength exercises conditioning, with Amy. Yeah. yeah, so that was, gosh, I want to say four or five years ago. Yeah. So it's been some time. Yeah, yeah. it's been some time. But, and a lot's changed. You've done a yeah. lot since then. We had you on a couple of years ago. You were talking about um, Butte Brand. Yep. Right? And we're going to catch up on that. But before we do that, I want to find out what's going well in your life. What's a win? Yeah, so many, many wins, uh, I feel like lately. Um, really exciting. Just recently, I was promoted or recognized for Rookie of the Year here um, in Wenatchee as a real estate broker. Nice. So really exciting. Um, I owe it a lot to Lower Mountain Real Estate. We got an amazing team over there, so couldn't have done it without them. Um, just recently, too, we had a kid, and she is, her name is Elida Francis Zavala. She's beautiful. She's my pride <laughs> and joy. So she is 11 months. She's going to be one next month, so we're really excited. Um, um, so my wife and I are going to, uh, you know, have a little birthday party for her. So we're, we're, we're pumped on that. Right on, right on. Yeah. Those are some good wins. Yeah, yeah. 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 Cool. Well, uh, we're going to talk about real estate on, after the commercial break. But first, yeah. bring us up to speed on Butte Brand. First of all, for anybody who doesn't know what it is, yeah. tell us a little bit about what Butte Brand is. Yeah, so I, I did visit the show well, I'd say a couple years ago. So Butte Brand is a purpose-driven headwear company. So what we do is the whole concept uh, was created because we wanted to give back. We didn't know how we were going to do it. So we chose headwear as our vehicle. So what we did is we partnered up with nonprofit organizations, uh, donating a percentage back, and then just created some really co cool partnerships where not only just where we made donations, but we actually got our hands dirty, um, got to do some really cool projects with uh, salmon conservation um, at CCA. We've also done some tra uh, trail restoration. We've done some river restoration with uh, Chelan Douglas Land Trust. Um, we've done fundraisers online where we're working with mental health awareness. So mm. we've, we've adopted a lot of these really cool, fun, I would say like principles or core values that allowed us to use headwear to donate back to nonprofits. I love it. And when yeah. you say headwear, obviously you're talking about hats. Hats, right? beanies. Like, yeah, we've branched off to sweaters. Yeah, and uh, you got a line of shirts, right? Yes. And and for anyone, who, um, maybe you've seen these out there, and, and if you haven't, you're going to see it now because you're going to go like, oh, yeah, there it is, <laughs> Butte brand. So it's the hats with the, the, the big word Butte on it, right? Yep. And in the background, at least for some of the uh, designs, they've got a picture of like the Butte in Chelan, right? Yep. Yeah. Um, and so you created uh, hats, shirts, and are selling those with the purpose of giving back and enriching uh, 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 opportunities for enriching the environment. Yeah. And, and also, didn't, didn't you do some stuff with uh, like clean water? Yeah, so that was one of our biggest partnerships. So we partnered up with uh, the Chris Long Foundation, specifically Water Boys. It's an initiative of the Chris Long Foundation. For those that don't know Chris Long, Chris Long is a two-time Super Bowl champion, and um, he uh, gives back in multiple different pillars, and one of those being clean drinking water. So what we did is uh, we partnered up with them, um, got some ha hats, beanies uh, with Water Boys on the hat, mm -hmm. where we donated, donated $8 per hat that we sold, which is equivalent to providing one person with clean drinking water for at least a decade. Whoa. So pretty cool stuff. And again, $8 went back towards our nonprofit organization, and we're still partnered with them. Um, it's been amazing to, to work with them and just see this partnership unfold. And uh, recently, I actually got invited to go to um, conquer Kilimanjaro with the Water Boys team. So they, <laughs> they take the bets to go out there. And unfortunately, with timelines, um, it didn't work out. So I didn't get to go this year. But hopefully next year, that's still on the list and they can still invite me. So dang. Yeah. Wow, what an opportunity. Yeah. 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 That's got to feel so satisfying to know yeah. like, like you're, you're generating revenue and then 
being able to shift that revenue over to this area that makes such an impact for other people. Yeah. Wow. And, and that was the whole concept, uh, Fletcher. Like the reason why we started Butte Brand was not to create a headwear company. Like the whole concept behind it was how do we give back? How do we bring value? How do we, how do we really make an impact on the areas that we care about? And that's how the idea started. It just so happened to be that we looked left and right and tried to figure out a concept and then the Chelan Butte was there. And then that's what accelerated kind of our thought process because the definition of a Butte is an isolated hill that rises abruptly, which mirrored mm -hmm. our core values of rising up and making change and giving back to areas that we that we really want to make love make that. a change. Yeah. yeah, great imagery. Yeah, yeah, I love that. And you know what's interesting to me too is that uh, the space that you guys decided to go into that is a full space, right? Yeah, headwear, yeah. right, and shirts. But you guys uh, took a risk, and it sounds like it's going really well. Yeah, yeah. So the apparel industry just as a whole is a very, very saturated market. It's very hard to create a business off of apparel. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the one of the things that really separated us initially was we were we were selling these hats out of the trunk of our cars. We were attending pop up shops. So we were just having fun. And, um, you know, I, our first photos it looked like it was done with a Polaroid. I mean, the photo quality was so bad, but it was the concept of what we wanted to do. It was you know, people believed in our mission. Um, we were very clear on how we were giving back. We would show end year reports kind of saying how much money we actually contributed. And not only that, but taking photos and working, setting up work parties with these nonprofits to actually get our hands dirty. Yes. Which, which you don't see that too often, where it's most of the time it's just writing a check and feel great, which is amazing to do. But we wanted to take it up a, a step. And, right. You know, that's so cool. That's so cool. Yeah. Um, so what's next for, for Butte Brand? Yeah. So uh, right now, we um, obviously COVID is almost over, which <laughs> we are super excited because it's just wrecked havoc on the industry as far as supply chains go. Um, but uh, not to use that as an excuse, we actually have been working on this um, performance. Uh, it, it's a performance hat. Um, so it's got a dry fit consistency and it's more of like the golfer, the outdoor water sports, the avid hiker. Um, so we've been working on that hat for about eight months, mm -hmm. completely decked out and, and customized. So we are thrilled about that. Um, those should be launching sometime in the summer. So we're working on marketing schemes, connecting with influencers and creating some cool content for that. So I think that should definitely take us to that next level. Right on. Yeah. Exciting. Yeah. Um, that's so cool. So, uh, if for people who are interested and like want to check out this gear, tell them yeah. are there some local venues where they can go and or online? Yeah, so local venues um, in town, we have Performance Footwear. They do a great job stocking all of our products. If for some reason something's not there, they'll contact us. We'll make sure we'll de deliver it you know, within 24, 48 hours or try to do our best. Uh, Lake Chelan Sports up in Chelan and the Hat Shop up in Leavenworth. So those are some spots that you can get our, uh, our gear locally. And online, buttebrand.com, B-U-T-T-E brand.com. Um, we have all of our products there. Uh, make sure and use promo code HOMIE for free shipping, <laughs> H-O-M-I-E, all caps. Uh, so that's where you can find all of our gear. And I, another thing to add on what's exciting too is um, we started off with non, working with nonprofits locally and, and, and really focused in central Washington. And then we worked with a really big nonprofit partner that had a worldwide or global approach um, towards clean drinking water. Um, one of the things that we're really excited for is we're going to come back and focus on the community and really try and make that impact here locally where we can see that impact. So that's mm. what I'm really, really excited for. Um, our partners got together early January and decided, you know, we want to we want to see our change here. Right on. So yeah. you're, you're impacting local and global. Right? Yeah. 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 Super cool. Um, so, yeah. So uh, look, up, look them up online, ButteBrand.com, right? Yeah. And uh, make a purchase, get somebody a gift, get something for yourself, and know that when you do that, not only supporting um, uh, a local thing, but you're also making a difference uh, globally too. So really cool. Um, hey, we're going to take a quick break. Stay with us. We're going to be back, and we're going to talk about Danny's latest venture into the local real estate market.
Hey everybody, welcome back to Live It Up. We're talking with Danny Zavala today, uh, one of the founders of Butte Brand, and he's also relatively new into the uh, real estate scene here locally, and though it's relatively new, you're kicking butt, aren't you? Yeah, I hit the ground running. Um, yeah, so I'm a, I'm a real estate broker for Lower Mountain Real Estate here in town on the north end. And as I mentioned before, uh, things that are going really well, real estate's going really well. Um, as I mentioned, I got Rookie of the Year, which is a really big award um, that I didn't really know about, even existed until they started doing nominees. So <laughs> that was kind of a pleasant surprise, but I, I do owe it all to Laura Mounter Real Estate, uh, the agency as a whole, Laura Mounter, Shauna, Nanette, um, they bring some serious value, not only to our agency, but to all of our clients, to all of the people in this valley. Um, just their integrity is top notch. So right on. Yeah. What, tell me what you're enjoying about that that career. Yeah, what I'm enjoying about it, is, Fletcher. You know me. Like I'm a people person. I'm kind of bubbly. You know, I, I got some wild, crazy ideas um, at times. But I'm, I, I'm most importantly, I just like to serve. Right. I like to bring value to others. Um, and that's what I love about the real estate market is I can bring my outgoingness, my sincerity, just connecting with individuals and giving them my personal opinions on things and being open and honest and being able to point them to the right direction um, and serving them more than just writing a contract, but connecting them with the contractor, the roofer, the builder, the landscaper. Um, I think that's the coolest part about it where it's connecting all the dots. Yeah. And that's what I really, really, truly love about real estate. Yeah. If, if, if anyone's ever tried to uh, sell or buy real estate on their own, it can, it's a tricky process. It can be, it can yeah. be tricky, right? Um, you know, in the top of the uh, show, I was talking about advocacy. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's really what I see, as, uh, see you guys as, as doing. You're advocating for your client, right? Yeah. Because you guys have a wealth of knowledge. Yep. Uh, you see things that I wouldn't have mm -hmm. seen or, or even know what to ask, right? It's, um, so, so you're looking out for your client, right? 100%. Yeah, and that's, that's the biggest thing is when you're trying to sell your house or you're trying to buy a new house, having that professional advice and making sure they tie up all the loose ends because, as you know, what, what could go wrong will go wrong. Yep, yep. <laughs> um, and especially in a, in a very competitive market that we're experiencing not only just in Wenatchee but nationwide, mm -hmm. um, you need to have that professional advice and your offer needs to be super clean. You can't, it, it just it helps to have not only our eyes on the contract, but again, the agency's eyes on the contract because it is a team effort these days to get um, everything accomplished. Yeah, and I, I really appreciate what you just said because you're their, you're going to be their number one person. Yep. But if there is something where you need uh, advice, you've got a team of one hundred percent super experienced people, right? I mean, yes. I know the Laura Mounter firm. They, I mean, they've been around for a long time, yeah. right? Yeah. Years of experience. Uh, so that's what you're getting. Also, you're getting that team. Yeah. Uh, really cool. Um, so, you, like you said, it is a competitive market out mm -hmm. there, and prices, as everybody knows, are going up. So let's, let me just ask you the, the tough question, like, what does a first time home buyer do? Yeah, is, so. Is there room for a first time home buyer? Oh yeah, 100%. I mean, it, it is competitive, no doubt about it. I, we've all seen the appreciating market since COVID hit. So it's been two years and the market has appreciated substantially. So people that currently have their homes have a fair amount of equity. That's why they're selling. Mm -hmm. And these home buyers um, that are trying to come in, I wouldn't say give up. I would say invest a couple hours, talk to a professional lender here in the Valley that has a really good reputation, and then put the numbers on paper and see what you qualify for and what the mortgage rate would be. Mm -hmm. And see if that financially makes sense. A lot of home buyers look at strictly just the purchase price, but we're seeing record low interest rates. And of yep. course, you know they're starting to tick up a little bit now, but as a whole, they're still record lows. So I think <clears throat> when in doubt, I've always had a mentor that said, when in doubt, put it on paper. Mm -hmm. And I think just investing those two hours to make that phone call to whether it's to me or to a lender or whoever it might be within your, your circle of influence, whether it's a real estate, lender, real estate broker or lender, just have that call, figure out where to go, set up that meeting, and then find out what the next step should be. So as a home buyer, that's what I would recommend. And people are buying and selling every day. Um, there's transactions closing all the time, and a lot of those are first-time home buyers. So um, really, it just takes a team to 
to give you the advice that you need for the house that you want yeah. within your financial limitations. I appreciate what you said about putting it on paper. And the reason I like that is because sometimes in my own life, mm -hmm. I mean, I got ideas swirling around in my head and they're just swirling, yeah. right? They're, yeah. they're not, I'm not like seeing them clearly. Mm -hmm. And so I might be missing really important pieces. Yeah. And so, like you said, when you put it down on paper with a, a professional that can look at it, mm -hmm. um, you, you can likely make better sense of it than I could, right? Oh, yeah. And also, there are, even even if, if you feel like, my gosh, there's quite a gap there at first glance mm -hmm. um, to making it happen, there are things that people can do, the lender, the seller, yep. the buyer, the, 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 the broker, that can help close that gap. Is that accurate? Yeah, yeah, 100%. So, Let's just say there's a gap on your finances, right? Where you need to figure out what to do in order to get the house that you want. The lender's gonna give you a recipe to say, hey, this could help you qualify for more, or this is what you're gonna need to do in order to get what you're looking for financially. On the real estate side, I always say, hey, if you want that price, we won't know until we start making an offer. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. you gotta get your foot in the door, you gotta put pen to paper, mm -hmm. and you gotta present the offer, and then the negotiations begin. Um, you can't negotiate without a contract. Yeah. Um, so I think everything um, is pretty, pretty negotiable throughout the whole entire process. Um, but again, it's an art. It's the art of the deal, the art of negotiating, the art of the steps. And it's, it's, it's a set recipe that needs to be followed in order to figure out what the next step should be. Yeah, that is so right on. And it's like uh, if you... You're, you have zero chance of getting it unless you're in the game. <laughs> exactly. Right? Yeah. And so what I hear you saying is like, get it on paper, make the offer. Now we're at least in the game, yep. right? Yeah. Yeah. So really, really important. And um, and how are we doing for uh, inventory uh, in, in, yeah. in this market? So right now, um, inventory is a little low, uh, mm -hmm. but that's just given the time of year. You know, winter seasons are typically slower. We had that big snowfall in January where everybody was home stuck. They couldn't even leave their yeah. home. So the whole real estate market was pretty much crickets for a couple of weeks. So inventory is slow. I do believe that it will pick up and a lot of industry professionals thinks that it'll pick up again, just, just as it does annually mm -hmm. in the spring and into the summer and into the fall, slower in the winter. So we're anticipating the same thing. And it looks like there's a ton of building going on, like yeah. over in East Wenatchee. I don't know about Wenatchee. Although actually I, there is a bunch over by the hospital too, right? Yep. Yeah. Yep. There is. So there's a bunch of inventory that's getting ready to come onto the market. Yeah, definitely. So there is a lot of new construction. I've toured around with many, many clients just checking out the new construction homes and there is a lot of new construction going on. Um, so if that's something for you, definitely call your agent, call your lender, figure out what what interests you if that fits you know your profile for that house mm -hmm. definitely go take a look and a lot of the times um, there's a lot more construction that you think is going on mm -hmm. that is not clearly visible on your day-to-day -day commutes and and you may know of stuff that's going to be coming onto the market right that 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 could be potentially perfect for uh, one of your clients right so it's like get with get with danny and tell him what you're looking because even if there's even if that perfect home is not on the market you're gonna be keeping an eye out for it, right? Oh yeah, definitely. So as soon as something does hit the market even, um, a lot of the times in this competitive market, something will be listed or a house will be listed for one week mm -hmm. and then it goes pending. So within that week, whether you're on vacation, whether you're out of town, um, having multiple sets of eyes on the market is valuable. Yeah. And timing is of the essence always in this market. So. Mm -hmm. um, knowing when stuff either hit the market or when they're coming up on the market. You might not know the exact location, but you might know that something's coming up in this area. Um, it's, that's, yeah, it's always, it's always valuable to have multiple sets of eyes out there. Good, so if anybody wants to buy or sell, tell them how to get in touch with you. Yeah, so again, my name is Danny Zavala. Uh, you, can, you can reach out to me, 509-630-6366. You can email me, that's probably best. It's danny, D-A-N-N-Y, at lauramounter.com. Um, I do have various social media pages, so Zavala Real Estate, uh, Wenatchee Estates. So just feel, to, feel free to follow me on social media just to kind of keep in the loop. Um, there's some tips that I threw out there, so. Right on, right on. Yeah. Thanks, Danny. Yeah, appreciate, appreciate it. it. All right, it's time to wrap up. So you know what it's time to do. Get out there, be a source of kindness, be a source of contribution. You do have something to offer this world and I believe in you.